Hey, this is Chris Hill with the Alliance and President's Club, and uh, we're starting a new call series today sponsored by the President's Club, and uh, most of you are aware that we were doing a call every Friday at 2, a very short call, and uh, we're going to roll that into a new series that we're calling the Rising Tide webcast. What the purpose of this call is, is for about 20 minutes every Friday at 2 o'clock, uh, I'm going to go into depth asking our top producers some very direct questions what is it that makes their numbers go up? What do their phone calls look like? What does their in-home look like? The goal of this call is to get into the weeds and get very, very detailed so you know exactly what they're saying and what they're doing. Uh, these will be housed on YouTube, so you can go to the Alliance YouTube channel and I check these out and use these to help you to move forward. My first guest today, I'd like to welcome Terry Edwards. Thank you for joining us. And um, Terry's coming all the way from Kernersville. You saw him this morning on the activity call, and he made mention some of the numbers that he hit uh, this past week, and so we wanted to invite Terry on and go over that. And our goal is to tell you exactly what it is that Terry is saying and doing to cause that. So thank you for being here, Terry. Uh, to Thanks for having off, me, Chris. Tell, tell us a little bit about when did you get started with the Alliance and uh, how that took place. Just give us a kind of high level of uh, that story. That's right. How's everybody doing? I am Terry Edwards. I'm coming to you live from the big city of Kernersville, North Carolina, baby. Um, I got started with the Alliance back in April of 2015. High level overview. My background was in banking. I have worked in credit unions for about 16 years and have moved down to Atlanta to pursue what I thought was my dream job. I was named CEO for credit union down there. I um, moved down there mid-school year, me, my wife, Tia. We had three small children, and she was seven months pregnant with number four. And uh, we moved down there. Long story short, the job that I moved down there for was rescinded after I had moved down there. So um, I did what any other polished, college-educated, master degree-having uh, individual. I got on Craigslist looking for work and I responded to a Craigslist ad that was posted by Jason and Olga Mathis and I was like, what did I have to lose? Uh, they said Mutual of Omaha, you make $500 a pop on average. Talk to Jason and what some people would say is the rest has been history, man. So that's that's what we've been doing. Yeah, I was a Craigslist one as well, Terry. We're on the same boat. The, uh, that's right. I feel like I'm in good company. The, tell us something. So a little bit, Terry, how much did you issue pay last month? What were your issue pay numbers? Last month, I issued pay 22000 All right. And then about how much did you spend on leads to issue pay 22000 It was right at $2,200, like $2,284.95 to be exact. 95 cent. So you're lining right up with the, if you spend $100 on leads, you issue pay about 1000 that's right with that yes absolutely so this morning on the activity call you made mention that on Tuesday you booked a large chunk of appointments in a short amount of time and I believe it was 23 appointments in just over five hours that sound about yep. right yep I started uh, what, dialing I started dialing right at eight and I was done about five out of 12. all right how many phone calls did you make on Tuesday to book the 23 appointments I made 76 dials. I hit the green button 76 times. All right, so 76 phone calls. About how much did you spend on leads to produce those 23 appointments? That was about $500 on leads. Okay, and then you were kind of telling me your numbers so far. So where are you at? So you booked 23 on Tuesday. Where are you at so far in those numbers? Well, first of all, uh, let me back up to 76 dials in four and a half hours is not good okay you want to shoot for 40 dollars an hour minimum 40. i try to get 50 dollars an hour but the cool part about it was i talked to 30 people so my dial count was lower because i spent more time on the phone actually people picked up so 76 dollars i talked to 30 people i booked 23 appointments so far i sat on 12. I've written 13 applications for $8,994.96 this week, and I still have about seven more appointments to go um, this afternoon and uh, tomorrow afternoon. All right, so 76 phone calls. You spoke to 30 people, and that's why your dial ratio was low because of the number of, phone, number of people you were talking to. 
So you right. booked 23 of the 30 conversations. So seven people told you no or hung up on you or whatever. And so far you've sat on 12 and wrote 8,900 and you've got seven more to go. What do you That's think, right. based on your numbers so far, what do you think you'll finish for the week as? I should finish a week around 13,000. All right, so 13,000 and submit. Now, what is your – so that's obviously a bigger number than what you were playing, what you were shooting for last month because uh, you did 22000 What is your goal for this month that you paid? This month issue paid, I'm shooting for 40000 issue paid. All right, so 40000 issue paid, and about how much are you looking to invest in leads? Um, about $4,000. 4000 And then is Tia – Tia's running this month as well, right? Yep. When we get back from family reunion – my silent assassin is going to be in these streets. Uh, she's going to run 20 appointments a week. So we're going to spend another $2,000 on leads to produce those 20 appointments, you know, and uh, for 20 appointments a week for four weeks, about $2,000 in leads for that month. And together, we should do a minimum of $60,000 once both of us are fully in the field. So now you're you're running current clients and referrals as well, right? Yeah, I'm running I'm running new leads, current clients, referrals. Um, I meet people at the Burger King, the Bojangles, the gym. So you're starting out looking to invest six grand in leads for your for you and Tia, plus your referrals, plus your current clients. So you're ensuring that you'll get to sixty thousand issue pay. Correct. If you issue pay sixty thousand. About how much would you put in the bank from that if you had to guesstimate? Uh, probably somewhere, I'll probably put around 20. Oh, if I do 60, at least 35,000 uh, in cash just off of personal production. So 35 minus 6, that would put you at 29,000 a month. And that's over a quarter million run rate in just personal production, right? That's right. So one of the things that I see, Terry, is your lead investment is high because your issue pay premium goal is high. So am I following you right there? Yeah, absolutely. There's a, um, I got a poster in my, um, in my training room out there that says, scared money don't make no money. All right, I agree with that. So big investment, big premium. And uh, what, you know, I see, what if you sucked at sales, Terry? Well, let's say you were just horrible at sales and y'all bought $6,000 worth of leads, about how many sales would you have to make in order to make your money back, just to cut even? If you spent 6000 in sales, about 10. So if you spent 6000 in leads, and let's say 6000 let's just say divided by 25, so 240 leads and you need to make 10 sales to make your money back, everything else is profit. So that's how your issue paying. That's how you're putting thirty five grand in the bank. It's just because of high investment and high activity. All right. See, see, this is what I know. Um, hard work can outbeat skill any day. So it really doesn't matter where your skill level is. It really matters is how how often are you willing to get up and swing the bat. And I'm just the crazy type. I just keep swinging. It really don't matter if I hit it or miss it. Because what I do know is a blind squirrel going to find a nut every now and then. Good deal. All right, so let's jump into your phone script. Because I, I, and if I was listening to this call, I'd be wanting to know, what in the world did you say that there's 23 people to book 23 appointments off of 30 contacts? So uh, let's start first with a mortgage protection script. So I'll do the ring, ring, and then I'll say hello, and you go right into it. All right? All right. So ring, ring, hello? Hey, Chris. Yes, it's Chris. Hey, Chris, this is Terry Edwards. How you doing? Doing good. Hope good, doing. good. Hey, I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. Look at here. I had a note here to give you a buzz. Uh, we received that form that you have filled out and mailed in requesting information about the mortgage protection plan. And just want to verify, Chris, you put up here your birthday is January the 1st, 1979. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. And your wife, her birthday is on January the 3rd, 1978. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. Oh, cool. And y'all still over at 123 North Main Street? Is that right? Yep. Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, my job is just simply to get that information out to you. And um, they're going to have me over your way on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. 
And Chris, I was wondering, are you generally around the house in the mornings, afternoons, or evenings so I can get this information out to y'all? Evenings when we're normally around. Evenings? Oh, okay. Well, what I do is I'm going to put you down for between 6 and 7 on Tuesday. Grab a pen, Chris. They make me give you this confirmation number. All right. All right. Let me know when, when you're ready. I'm ready. Hey, do it right, because most of the time the pen I grab don't write. <laughs> yeah, this one does. I know what you mean. All right, good deal, Chris. Well, your confirmation number is 222-560. And uh, my name is Terry. That's T as in Tango, E-R-R-Y. And, Chris, I'm going to be driving a little black Kia Optima, so when you see me pull up, you ain't got to sick the dogs on me. Is that all right? All right, sounds good. All right, good deal, Chris. Well, I got you down for Tuesday between 6 and 7, all right? Sounds good. I'll see you then. All right, good deal. See you then. Bye. All right, so let's do it again. This time I'm going to give you a little bit of pushback. And, all right. Um, I'll give you a little bit of objections and pushback to you. Ring, ring, hello? Hey, Chris. Yeah, this is Chris. Hey, Chris, this is Terry Edwards. How you doing this afternoon? I'm doing good. Hope you are. Good, good. Hey, look at here. I had a note here to give you a buzz. I received this form that you have filled out and mailed in requesting information about the mortgage protection plan. And I just want to verify, you got up here, your birthday is January the 1st, 1979. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. But we, we already got it taken care of. Thank you for reaching out. All right, no worries. It, hey, Chris, Chris, right quick. And you live at 123 North Main Street. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. Well, I know you already got this taken care of. My job is just to get the information over there to you. Whatever you do with it, Chris, is up to you. And did you say mornings or afternoons will work better for you? Um, afternoons work better, but maybe I'm, my wife would kill me if I had somebody come over. So All right, well, um, can you just well, mail it to me? Yeah, I wish they would let me mail it to you. But what I'm going to do is I'll swing it by there between 6 and 7 o'clock, and I want to watch the killer. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'll let All right, but, Okay, man. All right. All right. So, you know, real quick, one minute recap. Big thing I noticed was you just went right on through the process, even though I was pushing back. So you kind of acknowledged me, but you went on to the next and kind of forced me down this pathway in a nice way. Yeah, I like to do three things when I get an objection. Acknowledge it, ignore it, and move on. Because I know this is a game. Their job, the client's job, is to keep me from coming over there. My job is just to book the appointment. And I got all their information in front of me. So at that point, it's just a cat and mouse game. But I acknowledge it. I ignore what they say and move on. What I don't do is believe what they're telling me. Because most Americans are underinsured. And most of them don't have any insurance. They just don't want a salesperson to get over there. So before you ever make the phone call, you already believe they need insurance no matter what they're going to say. Exactly. Because I sent you I'm a book an appointment. I done paid for that lead. I'm coming over there. All right. So let's move into a um, final expense one, and we'll do a final expense direct mail. All right. So ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Mr. Chris. Yes. Hey, Mr. Chris. This is Terry Edwards. How you doing? I'm good. Hope you are. I'm doing pretty good. Hey, look at here. I got a note here to give you a buzz. We received that little postcard that you and Kristen filled out and mailed in requesting information about the state regulated final expense programs. And you put up here that you're 68 and she's 48. Is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. And y'all live over at 123 North Main Street. Is that right? Yes, it is. Okay, well good. Well, my job is just to get that information out to y'all and they're gonna have me over there on Tuesday and Wednesday. And I was wondering, Mr. Chris, are y'all generally around the house in the mornings, afternoons, or evenings so I can get it out there to you? Mornings is when normally around. Mornings, okay. What I do, and I put it down for between 10 and 11 on Tuesday, Mr. Chris, grab a pen that make me give you this confirmation number. All right. All right, you got a pen, that, that thing right? Yes, sir, it does. Most of the time, the first one I grab don't even write. <laughs> but anyhow, your uh, confirmation number is 222 Six zero. All right. And my name is Terry. That's T as in Tango, E R R Y. And I got y'all down for Tuesday between 10 and 11. Now, uh, Mr. Chris, I'm going to be driving a little black four door Kia. So when you see me pull up, don't sick the dogs on me. All right. All right.
Okay, then, buddy. All right, well, I'll see you between 10 and 11. Let your wife know I'm going to be stopping by so she ain't surprised. All right, right, will do. All right, buddy. All right, see you then. Your, um, the code number you're giving me, is that like your, in an A number, is that a special number to you? So you give the that's same my, one every time? Okay. Yeah, that's my NA number. So let's do that real quick again, and then I'll give you a little bit of objection, and then we'll do a Facebook lead as well, because I know you're doing a lot of those also. So we'll do a fast one. If I don't spend direct mail, and I'll give you a little bit of pushback. So ring, ring, hello? Hey, Mr. Chris? Yes. Hey, Mr. Chris, this is Terry Edwards. How you doing this morning? I'm doing good. Good, good. Hey, well, look at here. I had a note to give you a buzz. I, we received that little postcard that you and your wife filled out and mailed in requesting information about the state-regulated final expense programs. And I just want to verify here. You put up here that you're 68 and she's 48. Is that right? Yeah. My um, my daughter got that taken care of for me. She got it all oh. handled. She said okay, I Mr. shouldn't Chris. have sent the form in, but I'm sorry. True. All right, ain't no problem. Ms. Kristen, you still live at 123 North Main Street. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, well, look, I know you already got it taken care of. I just got to get this information over to you so that we can close out your case and you won't get no more phone calls. Um, what I do is I'll pencil that in between 10 and 11 on Tuesday. Y'all will be around the house. Won't you? Yeah, but my daughter really tells me not to let people come over. All she... right, yeah, my, my daughter, I think she can run me too. But I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> I'll swing it on over there to you. And uh, we'll deal with the backlash later, all right? Okay. Okay, buddy. So it seems like when you get an objection like that, do you do you shorten the call a little bit and just get the appointment booked? Yeah, yeah, that's the whole that's the whole thing is I um, I acknowledge the objection, um, then I ignore it, and I move on and ask them. I do more of an assumptive close at that point to yeah. get them yeah. um, get them booked. When you book, so that appointment you just booked right there, would you consider that to be a weak appointment or a strong appointment? I, I still think it would be strong because if I said I'm going to put to you in between 10 and 11 and they had something already planned, they would be like, well, no, that won't work. I got a doctor's appointment at 10 or 11, between okay. 10 and 11, and then I would just go for another time. How many appointments do you book between an hour and 10 and 11? Um, what I normally do is I book every hour and 15 minutes, mm -hmm. but I give them a time range. So I might write it in my book at 9.15, but I'm telling the client I'll be there between uh, 9 and 10. Okay, I got you. Similar to like the um, cable guy. Or the That's right. Guy. The only difference is the cable guy makes you stay at home for four hours. <laughs> it's a four-hour window, ain't it? <laughs> right, I'm going to give them a one-hour window. Right, and I think this is more important than cable. I agree. Let's do a Facebook lead real quick, and then we'll be done. And so All this right. is coming off of Bang Bang Leads, and um, best time to use the Facebook leads is the second they hit to call it, um, but they'll work any, you know, we've got people calling three-month-old Facebook leads, closing deals as well. So um, we'll just do a regular Facebook lead, final expense. So ring, ring, hello. Hey, Mr. Chris? Yes. Hey, Mr. Chris, this is Terry over here in Kernersville. How you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Hey, look at here. Um, I got assigned your request that you was looking for um, that state regulated final expense program. And you put up here your favorite color is blue. Is that right? Yes, it is. OK, well, good. Well, I'm just the local person here assigned to get this information over to y'all. And um, they're going to have me over your way on tomorrow. And I was wondering, are you joining around the house in the mornings or afternoons so I can get this over there to you? Uh, typically the afternoons. Typical afternoons. Okay, good. Well, what I do is I put you down for between three and four on tomorrow. Uh, grab a pen, uh, Chris. They make me give you this confirmation number. All Let right. me know when you're ready. I'm ready. All right. It is two 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 five six zero. All right. And again, my name is Terry, and I'll be driving a little four door black Kia. So when you see me pull up, you ain't got to sit the dogs on me. All right. All right. Okay, buddy. So for a second time, let's just go straight into the objection on the Facebook lead. Let's say they say something like, um, I don't, you know, I don't remember filling it out. I don't, you know, sometimes I click things on Facebook. Sorry about that. Yeah, n no worries. My job is just simply to, you clicked it, I got to deliver it. In the mornings or afternoons will work better for you. Okay. So acknowledge, ignore, and move on. Acknowledge, That's right. ignore, move on. So the big things I see, this call, which you should have picked up, is on um, Terry's lead investment is high 
because he's trying to issue pay a large amount of insurance. Uh, his uh, phone script is real simple and personal, and then you'll see acknowledge, ignore, and move on on the objections. And uh, that is how Terry uh, booked 23 appointments in a matter of about four and a half hours and has already written 8,900. With seven more to go, we'll finish at 13,000. And for looking for a month of July, uh, 60,000. Terry, thank you for jumping on. You did a great job. Thanks for having me. You can find this on YouTube. See you next time.